long time no see. <laughs> What's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm back. I don't know how consistent this is gonna be or whatever. But you know, one of the most important fact is that I'm back. You know, um, I've been gone for a while and a lot has happened since I've been gone. So this video is to tell you all about that. As you can hear, there is thunder, so don't mind that, okay? Um, just try to focus on my chocolate caramel first. Chocolate and caramel, ooh so you guys, um, I don't actually know what the last video was apart from the shorts that I was posting that I posted on here, like the long form video that I posted on here. Um, but I took a break. It was really an unexpected break, let me be honest. It wasn't like, oh, this is going to be the last video that I posted. It was just that life got busy. Um, I think I had swiveled or pivoted to like book reviews and stuff i am still reading i'm reading other things amongst the romance novels that i love so much um i'd yeah I'd pivoted towards that and i feel like i i imposter syndrome got to me even though i don't think i it was like a conscious like awareness that i had of this but i felt like my views were so low that i was just like nobody cares no one is no one cares okay just stop it but that's not true and it doesn't matter let's be honest if a video gets 200 views how would i feel if there were 200 people in my living room right now look what i have and for those of you that are um new here please catch up on the other videos there's so much to me more than what you had seen on married at first sight yes i went on married at first sight let's start there with the life update i went on to a show called married at first sight um and i'd actually never watched any of the other jurisdictions <laughs> can i call it that the other territories married at first sight i know there's uk australia us um i saw new zealand because i follow a girl that was on married at first sight new zealand um and I never watched it, but I took the opportunity to get my love life in order and, you know, find me a man. As you can see, we're still together. <laughs> um, so that happened. I got married to a stranger, a complete stranger. There are rumors online from a certain gossip YouTube channel that no, it's not real. We knew each other before. Let me just put that to rest. No, we didn't know each other before. I didn't know his name. I didn't know what he looked like. I didn't know, I didn't know anything about this person. But thank goodness, he turned out to be the most handsome, chocolatey, sex, like they got everything right, okay? I don't know if I should get into a lot of detail in this video, because we're gonna be covering a lot of things here, like my love life, married at first sight, my mental health, um, school, all of that, right? But I'll just give you a quick synopsis. They got everything right. I said I want him tall. I want him to be dark skinned. No, actually I didn't specify about the tone. But I'm glad they got me a tall chocolate dark chocolate man. Um, I said I want him to have an established career. Um, I want him to be open to going to therapy. Or they really just tick the boxes for me. I'll try and insert a picture of us from our wedding day here. Um, and yeah, y'all, y'all know that the dating apps were dribbling me, were dribbling me. Woo! I said, you know what? What could be worse than the dating apps? Let's go on to Married at First Sight, see if this is gonna work out. And yes, it's worked out. We have been married for just over a year now, and it was looking like a crash out on the show, but. I'm pleased to say that no, we we like each other now. We are getting along. We understand each other better. But I think maybe I'll do a, a separate video on that. Um, so yeah, that covers that. My love life. Girlie went on to Merida first side, bagged herself a hunk. Okay, hunk. Um, and 
said goodbye to the dating apps. When I, let me tell you, if this is not your sign to delete the dating apps, I don't know what is. I'm just saying, delete the dating apps because you don't know what's gonna happen. I deleted Tinder, Bumble, Hinge because I was on all three of them. And then, dun 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 dun. Suddenly I was left-handed. Um, next part of my life, let's chat mental health. Where are we at with that? Am I still on the happy pills? Yes, I am still on the happy pills. Um, it's going so well. Um, initially, I was like, mm, this is blunting my feelings. Great, I don't care. <laughs> but I did switch. I was on, um, oh my fucking God, there's a gecko. And it's climbing up the wall. Okay, focus. I was on Lexamol. I think the Americans call it Lexapro. And it just wasn't working for me. I was feeling depressy and alive. -y. And so then I switched healthcare providers and went to see a psychiatrist. And she put me on x -Lob. I don't know what is the, the other name for it. There is another name for it. So it's an SNRI, not an SSRI. So I'm on an SNRI and it's helping it's great am i ever gonna go off of it we don't know probably not but i'm fine with that i'm absolutely fine with that it's working for me it's not hindering my life in any way um am i still journaling no no i just my life my life is chaotic in the most beautiful way okay in the most beautiful way but it is chaotic um but I am not journaling. I just don't have the time, you guys. I don't. I don't. Um, but yeah, that covers it. My mental health is, is steady, I think, right now. There's no depressive episodes. There were some anxiety attacks when we were shooting Married at First Sight, but like, given that, you know, I'm in this weird, weird situation. So other than that, no, there were no anxiety attacks afterwards i think i had two anxiety attacks when we were shooting um married at first sight but i did have my urbanol the doctor the production doctor prescribed my urbanol and i took my urbanol and i was right as rain so what else school i don't think i think on my vlog channel there's that there's the like you know come to come with me to campus but for those of you who don't know i am a second year law student I'm actually preparing for my final exams for second year. So a couple of months from now, you're going to be talking to a third year law student. Per. <laughs> it's going so well. I love it so much. And when I said I have been reading other things other than the romance novels is my textbooks. I have been reading my textbooks, legislation, case law, journal articles, you name it. So as much as like it doesn't bring me super joy to say per se to be reading those things, it does bring me joy to work towards my dreams, you know? Every day I think my goal of like what kind of lawyer I want to be, it changes every day. But for the most part, I think I want to work for the National Prosecuting Authority, so I want to be a prosecutor. But at the same time, I'm like, girl, you are so good. Like if I look at my transcript and look at my modules, I, I've, I've been excelling in like business enterprise law, um, law of contract. Law of contract dribbles a lot of people, but I, I aced it. My final mark was like mid 80s. So a lot of people say to me that I would be well suited to corporate. So be like a corporate lawyer and I understand. And I do like criminal law as well. But there is still time. There's still time. I don't have to think about that right now. I just have to think about my goal of graduating cum laude, which is on the money. I'm on the money with that one. I'm on the money with that one. Okay. Graduating cum laude and um, finishing the degree in the four years that, you know, the minimum is four years. And I'm loving it. It's, the, it's been the best decision that I have made for myself 
I think in my adult life I'll tell you three of my favorite decisions that I've made in my adult life I've been an adult for a while now I'm 32 one was going to France to study to become a pastry chef it opened my eyes to a lot of things like the way that other people live other cultures traveling alone as a young 20 something year old uh, early 20s um, being independent learning a new language i still can speak french fluently to this day um so that number two was going on to merida for a site obviously and number three <coughs> was studying law there are lots more like leaving my baby daddy's also one of my favorite ones <laughs> i'm gonna get into how co-parenting is going right now um but yeah those are some of my favorite decisions that i've made and like going to law school has been I saw a TikTok the other day of a lawyer, she, but she now practices uh, like a, as a real estate, as a realtor. Um, and she was saying that going to law, law school is so empowering and I honestly feel like a boss babe right now. Even though I'm not even a lawyer yet. I'm just a law student. I have hopes and dreams of becoming a lawyer, but I'm not a lawyer yet. And it is very, very empowering. Okay, how is co-parenting going? I'm sure a lot of you who watch me on Meredith First Side would love to know how co-parenting is going. But Um, it's going well guys I'm gonna do a whole other video that's only about co-parenting and you know what happened on maths and all that jazz but it's going well we, we co-parent I don't want to say normally because I think from the feedback that I got from the public about how I co-parent I don't think that's normal to many South Africans but it is healthy what what some of you are doing is normal but it's not healthy. So he still goes to his dad every second weekend. Uh, open lines of communication. If he can't have our child that weekend that is designated to him, he will let me know. Please can you keep him? If I can, I say yes. If I can't, I say no. He goes to his dad every Wednesday night. Um, and then I fetch him on Thursday. So Wednesday night is for mommy and Kuzo alone without the baby and yeah I actually seeing as we talk about parenting let's talk about blending the families because my man has a daughter who is the same age as my child we call them the twins or thing one and thing two thing one is my own thing two is my stepchild um yeah so she comes around you know it's very different having a girl child especially because like they're the same age so unconsciously I might compare them I'm like hmm she does this but they're different people of course they're gonna be doing different things um, she's she's super different she's very similar she has a similar nature to her father very quiet very demerity and then there's like the chaos which is Zion and I very loud very outspoken yappa 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 from the minute we open our eyes in the morning but it's been going well the kids fight we the other day kuta was like don't worry guys we also didn't like each other when we met but you just need to get to know each other and then you'll be fine and i just laughed <laughs> and then he was like maybe we should just lock them up here for six weeks the same way they did with us because we were we shot for that amount of time we were in class accommodation for six weeks and yeah but co-parenting is going well, blending families is going well, as well as it possibly can go. Um, let's move on. Let's talk about health. You know, like physical health, gym, <gasps> disaster, a disaster. Um, when I was saying I don't have time to journal, I like to write, 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 write my feelings. I could take an hour. I used to dedicate like an hour every morning to just sit and journal and just do breath work. Out the window, gone. Gone. Um, gym. I, was, I wanted to go to the gym on Monday, but guess what? I caught the plague that my child brought home from crash. So mm -mm, I couldn't go. Still feeling sickies right now. Might go to the gym. No, no, not even tomorrow because my lectures end at 5 p.m. So, but I do try to eat healthily. 
salads big on salads um it's getting warmer here it's springtime so salads for lunch you know yeah um it makes me sad i've also been like toying with the idea of like going back into bodybuilding but not fully let me tell you what i mean i saw one of my pictures i think it was the last show that i did which was on classic and i was like god damn girl you fire right and i've still got it in me duh i'm still the same person duh um and i was like i would love to do a comeback because it makes me having a goal having something to work towards makes me focus same way that i'm working towards graduating cum laude tunnel vision obviously i can't go back to bodybuilding now while i'm studying and being a mommy and being a new wife blah 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 but probably once i'm finished studying i'd like to do a comeback show just for funsies prep myself no coach me i'm the coach um and see how it goes because why not because why not um yeah and then i think we should end this video off with just like saying like girl what's your plan actually like what's your plan with this channel because you just come and go you just come and go like the niggas on the dating apps um i'm not gonna commit to doing one video a week i think that's a lot that's, that's four videos a month let's be honest but because my plate is so full i will commit to doing two videos a month so one every second week if you get more then you get more but i'd rather just you know um under promise and over deliver um but yeah vlogs i think i will maintain the vlog channel for the vlogs here we're just gonna be cutesy and demusy sit down to chat i'm gonna go back to doing the makeup um videos i really enjoyed those i also want to get new makeup try some new things um um one of the videos that i really want to do is just chat about like the wedding day and what made me into maths and all of that jazz do a cutesy little bridal makeup thingy and then um yeah also chat to you guys as well um somebody asked for a podcast i'm not promising that that's that's beyond my pay grade that's beyond my pay grade um but i'll put it here in the back of my mind <laughs> i'll put it here in the back of my mind okay um it is now time for me to go and love and leave you okay um remember that's gonna be my sign out line okay remember that yes you got it okay i'll see you in the next one bye